So, if you haven't heard recently, a short squeeze of GameStop stock and a few other securities took place on several stock exchanges which resulted in major consequences for certain hedge funds owned by mostly monopoly men type billionaires and the 1% whose investments work for them due to an operation orchestrated mostly by Redditors on the r slash Wall Street Bet subreddit, aggravated by constant market manipulation and ruthless, nay scumbaggish tactics at the hands of hedge funds that already had more money than they knew what to do with. It increased GameStop stock under the ticker symbol GME by almost 190 times its record low of $2.57 to almost $400 per share, resulting in immense losses for the immensely wealthy hedge fund owners who had shorted the stock previously. A huge amount of the company's shares had been sold short, and the rush of people trying to buy the stock went space high. For just a little technical background information, short selling is an insanely evil tactic where an investor borrows shares and immediately sells them in an attempt to buy the stock at a lower price, later to only return the borrowed shares, pocketing the difference. The difference being the money the investor in question was given, i.e. thievery. If you feel like your brain is trying to wrap around itself right now, don't worry, because this kind of tactic is designed to be esoteric and confusing, only understood by insanely predatory people who may or may not commit illegal acts on Wall Street. As many gamers may know, GameStop is a decently scumbaggish American chain of brick-and-mortar gaming retailers who in recent years have gone so far into the ground that they've come out from the other end of the earth. Their landfill fire of success was only worsened by current global health circumstances, resulting in the number of people who shopped in person to zero, which, let's be honest, wasn't a reduction at all. Their failures caused people to short sell their stock, but Ryan Cohen, who had prior success in business, had a very big stake in GameStop and joined its board, causing disruption in the stock's price, which may have sparked the initial attention and subsequent buying frenzy. Socioeconomic commentary slash we live in a society ran aside, which I'm just itching, aching to do, onto addressing the title and what many gamers might be asking right now. What does this all mean for GameStop? Well, nothing really, since besides the confidence in Ryan Cohen, none of this means GameStop is initiating better business practices that will help them in the long term. I really do think the effects on the stock are very temporary, with the new publicity maybe giving the company somewhat of a boost. If GameStop doesn't make a wise investment in themselves, like devoting more into the streaming and e-commerce market, which people desperately need right now, they're still going to lose too much money to where they won't be able to stay afloat. I, like some people, want GameStop to be more ethical in how they treat their employees and how they conduct their sales and marketing tactics so they can ultimately profit and be successful in the long term. I love the experience of going into a GameStop and being able to browse an amazing selection, pick out a game, and then go home happy. The stock price didn't jump up because GameStop did anything revolutionary, but the internet wanted to get back at money-swindling Wall Street scumbags who had robbed people for years, making them pay back the money that was owed to the people they think they would screw over. None of this was about investing, it was about sending a message. And I really don't want people to think GameStop will be successful long term, because what they need is better business practices instead of hope for some miracle.